As you may know, the Barant family, we love motors. We love snowmobiles and dirt bikes and cars and trucks and all the fun stuff with motors. Well, my daughter, uh, who is a ripper on all of those things, which I'm pretty thankful for, uh, she got hooked up with a friend and wanted to learn how to snowboard um, quite a few years ago, to be honest. Uh, and so being the supportive dad I am, I said, honey, you do whatever you want to do and um, it's probably a good thing for you to learn how to snowboard. Um, I've, we've lived in Colorado all our lives. I have been skiing once. I was like 10, 11 years old. I went with a buddy and all I could think about when I was out on the slopes getting pummeled down the, the, the ski run was how much fun, how much more fun I'd be having on the ski patrol snowmobile uh, versus like just absolutely having no clue of what I was doing and sucking at skiing. It reminded me, me skiing reminded me of Bambi on the ice, you know, like just slipping and falling and just a mess, that, that was me. Um, so uh, fast forward to uh, this past year, my daughter just kept razzing me saying, Dad, I really want you to come watch me snowboard. Um, and I wanted to, uh, but you know, I just remember specifically telling her, I'm like, do you want your dad to die? I mean, there's no way at 45 that I am going to take the time and effort to learn how to ski or snowboard to follow you around on the slopes. Um, and so that's kind of where it got left. And then um, Strider, my son, came to me da uh, uh, one evening and he said, Dad, you gotta check this out. And it was some dude on a, on a snow go doing a backflip at a ski resort. And he's like, of course it wasn't just some dude, you know, running down the ski run. It was Strider just seeing someone do a backflip and saying, that's what we need. Uh, that's pretty typical for, for Strider. But um, after watching that video and like looking at a couple other clips of, a, uh, of the snow go, I was like, what are these things? And, and you know, looking at it, I'm like, well, it's got handlebars, it's got shocks. This might be right up our alley. So um, after doing just a little bit of research, uh, I reached out to Snowgo and wanted to get a little bit more information. For me, it all came down to, I really wanted to go out and you know support my daughter. Um, she's been working hard at it. Um, her friend and her friend's dad, who's a good friend of mine, you know, would send videos and just like, man, Kinley is crushing it. And, and that's like, I felt, I felt bad, right? I mean, I wanted to be out there, but I just knew they're like, I'm not doing it. I don't have the time to commit to, to learning something like that. So fast forward, um, ended up grabbing a couple, uh, one for me, one for Strider. Um, I think there's going to be an additional one in the fleet for next year because after experiencing these for a year, um, I think my wife would have an absolute ball and she has the same feelings that I do. I mean, she would love to go uh, check out Kinley and my wife used to ski when she was younger but has no desire to get back into it. And um, which brings me to the topic of the learning curve. And that's kind of what my biggest concern with what of, you know, jumping into skiing or snowboarding was, I mean, dude, I'm just, I'm a snowmobiler and I don't want, I, I've seen too many videos on YouTube of newbies skiing and snowboarding that that would be me and I just didn't want to be that person. So um, the, the first ride was, was pretty interesting. Um, as we show up in the parking lot and we're getting ready, um, I go to Strider, I'm like, hey, go to their website. They have a bunch of how-to videos. We should probably figure out how to ride these things before we get on the bus. And so we're literally in the parking lot watching videos of like how you load them on the, on the ski lift and how you, the, 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 a few starting points of, you know, going downhill, how to turn um, and, and all of that. And so like, I was, it was interesting. I mean, I never get intimidated or nervous about going snowmobiling or dirt biking. It's something I've done forever, right? So, but like, you know, thinking about, okay, well, it looks pretty simple to get it on the ski lift. You like 
hold it in front of you, stand up, and it's got this pr- cool bar right here that this, the chair comes underneath and just picks it up. Strider was, I think Strider was worried about that the most and, you know, it turned out as easy as it could be, which was awesome. So that was like, that checked the first box of, of you know, like, okay, step one is we're all right, we're gonna make it. And, you know, it's, it's funny, you're, you're like, as you're going up to the, the ski run or the lift, I'm sorry, you, you know, you're kind of like, I don't, I don't even know what to do. Like, do I stand on this thing? Do I carry it? Do I kind of scooter it? Or so like, again, just is really fun learning something brand new like that. Um, so again, we're kind of like just riding it like scooters on the flat ground to try to get it to the lift. And so we get on the lift and we're heading up. And so, okay, Stride, do you remember in, in the video, when you get off the lift, all you gotta do is you just put, you know, you put your foot in the binding and then you just stand up and just glide off the thing. And, and so just like the videos that they had on their website, it all worked kind of like that. And so my daughter's up there, she's waiting, she's got a big old smile on her face and she's like, okay, dad, you ready? And we're like, me and Strider look at each other like, uh, I guess so. I mean, because that's the funny thing, right? You're riding the ski, the, the chairlift all the way up and you're like, huh, we got to come all the way back down this, don't we? Uh, and so anyway, we get up and so kind of the, the key, the, the key parts in their how-to videos was, you know, start with big, wide um, banking turns. Obviously don't need steep terrain for that. And um, so, um, the cool thing was, and, and one thing that I, both Strider and I took away instantly was in, in one of the videos, they talked about, you're not turning, you're, you're leaning and, and counter steering. And I'm like, well, that's right up my alley. Um, and so leaning counter steering. And then what's really cool about, um, about this product is, um, so you're, you're not locked into bindings or anything. You're basically, basically there's a, an adjustable height bar that you can adjust up or down based on how, what, you know, your boot size, basically how big of a boot you are. So, um, kind of adjusted that here in the shop, but so you basically stick your feet under these bars and you can use those to, um, the, the bike articulates. So that's, that's what you're doing as you're going down. So like, as you're, you're going down, you kind of, you know, counter steer a little bit and, and art pick up and, and that's how you start turning. But uh, this is the funny part. So we get off, we're going down this very mellow slope and we're kind of like, you know, kind of getting the feel of it. And Kinley just like, okay, dad, let's go. And she bombs down this, this blue run. And both Strider and I look at like the steepness of that blue run and we're like, no, no, we're, there's no way we're ready for that. And so we kind of go down this catwalk and we, I'm like, I see the signs for green and we go down the first green run, just working on those little fundamentals and trying to feel like, okay, what does it feel like when I do this? Um, and, and then just remembering and us talking about, okay, hey, hold on, remember in the video, don't turn, keep your eyes up, uh, you know, if we, and the big thing was trying to, you know, learning how to stop and, and thankfully, you can go as slow or fast as you want because it's kind of like what I've seen. Again, I'm not a skier, but you know, when those guys are skiing down something on a steep slope, you're constantly turning, turning, turning to control your speed, which, you know, on a snowmobile, we can kind of do that as well. You know, go down on left edge and then turn over to right edge. Um, it's a lot easier on a snow go than it is on a snowmobile to go downhill and switch directions. But um, so, you know, again, learning, learning that and feeling that on, on the green run was like, it was just, it, it was so crazy that, you know, at the top of that run, looking down at the blue, watching my daughter go do her thing. I'm like, well, okay, she knows how to do that. We're not ready for that. Literally, we go down the green run and, you know, it's tw- 20 minutes by the time, you know, we get done down to the bottom and we're, we've we stopped a couple times. Um, I don't, I honestly don't think either one of us f- fell, but like when we were trying to stop, we instinctively were taking a foot out of one of the bindings and like trying to slow down with your foot and kind of um, slide the other one. And any, anyway, like both of us were reminding each other, no, you got to keep your feet in the bindings to stop. And um, so 
just that one run. So we get back on the lift. And again, now that we got the lift dialed, you stand up, you hold up, it comes up underneath you, you sit down and your bike's just chilling there, sitting on the bar. As we're going up the lift, Kenley's, you know, she, how was it? Was it cool? And, or actually she, she said, where'd you guys go? We're like, we weren't quite, quite ready for that. Um, but so, you know, kind of talking through all the, all the points as, as we were going back up for our second run. And, and this, this is like, this is how, in my opinion, what the whole reason that, you know, we went this direction was. So we get up to the top and like, have a such a different mindset now of like okay i know how to stop i know how to turn um in in one run like one run and so kenley stops before she goes down the blue she's like are you guys good are you gonna come down i look at stride and he's like mm -hmm. and and i mean on a on a and it's a right it's a blue run it's not it's nothing crazy but the steepness was pretty intimidating at first and to literally like go do one run halfway sorted out um, and then just go down something that, you know, 20 minutes prior, we're like, no way. That type of learning curve was something that I wasn't expecting, but I sure was hoping for. So that first day, um, you know, we get, we get our first two runs under our belt. And, um, you know, after that second run, me being able to at least keep my daughter in distance to see what she's doing and, you know, to high five her at the bottom and, you know, to just to, to click off that goal of, you know, being able to, to watch her do something that she was proud of herself for learning. Um, and with zero influence from dad, like I look, I take a lot of pride in, you know, teaching her how to ride a dirt bike and snowmobiles and all the other things in life. And she did this on her own, um, you know, with, uh, with our good friend, but, um, you know, for me to be able to, to kind of see that it was definitely a proud daddy moment and something that I just, to be honest, I didn't know if I was going to have that opportunity because of, you know, just this, like my, my situation and how I'm busy in the winter and, and all the excuses I was making not to learn how to ski or snowboard. So, um, I mean, that's, that's where these things were, were super cool, but we had so much fun dicing and chasing each other and, and laughing and giggling. And, uh, you know, there were a couple of times get going a little too fast and try to stop too fast and spin around and, and just, it was, it, we had, we had just a, a ball. After that first, after that first day, so we were, we were riding on the weekends, kids still had school. Um, I, on Monday, I was already like, we're going again next weekend. You know, I was done guiding. It was, it's awesome to get a little break from snowmobiling and, but I was fired up and Strider was and Kinley was. And so for those next, that, those next three weekends, we basically closed out the, the season, uh, the ski season until the, the ski area closed, um, ripping to the slopes. And I just, you know, just never would have thought that. Um, so that was, that was really cool. Um, and, you know, I, I think it, it just, it opened up more opportunities to spend more time with my kids, um, doing different disciplines um, that are outside, that are um, super fun, challenging, physically, mentally, um, but more important, just a blast. And, and we had a lot of fun. And anytime I can do any activity like that with, with my kids, and that's why I'm really excited. Um, I did take Sandy out just one little rip, like we took sleds out, snowmobiles, and we took a snow go and she was just like coming down one of our snowmobile areas like on the road and same thing like you know she picked it up instantly and i'm like they're fun huh she's like i'd need a little bit more practice but the like just the whole point of you know having enough confidence to get on it feel it um that's that i mean i think that's that's where the big advantage of this product is um a couple other things that really stood out to me on the bike itself was, um, if you guys didn't notice, I'm like a stickler for like modifying things and getting things to my liking and just, and you know, I'm looking at my row of dirt bikes and e-bikes and all these things. And you know, it, with, with the purchase of every one of those, 
There's always something that I want to make better or change or modify. And I was 100% expecting that same idea on these. Like, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna spend a few days on them and then I'm gonna be like, okay, well, why doesn't it do this? Or what if we changed and added this? And I, I told Rob from Snowgo um, after the, the three, you know, the three sessions of riding at the, at, at the end of the year, I, I told him that, I'm like, you know, what blew me away is, I honestly don't know of anything I would change. And maybe that's my inexperience, but you know, I just, I was like, I, I don't like, they're awesome, man. Uh, I mean, the setup was easy. The, like, there's just, it's very straightforward. The YouTube videos were key. Um, all the questions or hesitations that I had in my mind were um, put at ease very quickly and easily. And so I was like, dude, you guys, this is, why aren't like a million of them out there on the slopes? And he's like, well, we're, we're getting there, we're trying. Um, and you know, that was the other thing too, is, I mean, it literally felt like with people's reactions, it felt like if you were, if you owned a Lambo and you show up to the gas station and everyone's like, whoa, look at that thing. Like, that's what it felt like on the slopes is that, I mean, I couldn't believe how many of like the ski patrol guys um, and just like employees, we went to Copper, like everyone's like, so are they as fun as they look? And I'm like, dude, this is literally my first day. They are awesome, you know? And, and so it's, I think just like with anything, I mean, you know, things can get stale. And so when something new is out or relatively new is, is out, it is, it really perks people's eyes up. And, um, you know, and I saw so many of like those, those people who were struggling with the learning curve of skiing and snowboarding. And I'm just freaking, I'm just snickering underneath my helmet. Like, oh my gosh, dude, that, that, that would be me hundred percent. Instead, I'm here just like shredding, having, having fun. So, um, th those were a couple, couple, uh, feedback pieces I, w I wanted to give you. And then, you know, that, so going along with like, I don't, didn't have any inclination of changing anything. The quality is, is very apparent on the product. And that's something that um, drew me to this particular brand over the other ones. Again, in doing research when Strider came and showed me the video, it's very well built, top end quality components. Um, heck, I mean, it even has Fox Kashima coated shocks. And I, it was awesome. Like uh, I, I got down to the bottom after doing a run and uh, a snowboarder comes up to me and he's like, dude, you, you were ripping there. I'm like, uh, maybe that was by accident because I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but man, it's a lot of fun. And he's like, man, I have those same forks on my mountain bike. That thing is legit. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Um, and so it's cool, um, two different models. I, of course, had to go out with the blinged uh, Fox version, but they have uh, the base model that, that still has awesome suspension um, and all the same cool technology for the articulation in the back. Um, but, you know, I think that's, that's the one thing for me was if, you know, if we're going to do this, we're, we're going to do it right and we're gonna start with uh, the, the right product so we can make sure we do the best we can at having a successful outing. All right, with all that being said, um, hopefully some of you guys are out there saying, um, yeah, this is exactly what I've been looking for. This checks all the boxes. I've been looking for another expensive, fun, cool hobby to do. Uh, that was me again. Um, so how much, how much do they cost and is it worth it? Well, um, so this, mo this particular model right here, kind of blinged out one, uh, upgraded Fox shocks, 2,700 bucks. Um, and then uh, the base model, $2,000. Um, you know, and I mean, this goes head to head with if you were starting brand new and you needed snowboard, boots, bindings, helmet, all the gear. I know because, you know, had to uh, out help get Kenley outfitted. Very comparative or comparable with um, the ski and snowboard side of things if you had to start from ground zero. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then 
you know, I think you guys can tell from the enthusiasm and the stories, is it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it, man. I, I just never, I just didn't think at this stage in my life, being 45 and having probably more sports and hobbies than I know, uh, I don't need any more, let's just say that. Um, but to jump into this and literally have that like, that feeling like opening a, Christ, uh, a present on Christmas morning, like where, where's the next one I, I wanna go again? That, I just didn't know if I was gonna, uh, like I didn't think I'd get that again. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, lo- I have all my hobbies, hunting and biking and snowmobiles and all that stuff, but I got a new one now and, and um, I don't even know what you call it, snow going, snow, I, I, I don't know. Um, but, um, you know, it checked all the boxes for me it allowed myself and Strider to have another um, great family activity. Uh, my, my wife, I know she's going to freaking love it for next season, so I gotta get another one. And then, uh, you know, for us to be able to go chase Kinley around and uh, share another fun uh, family activity and passion of being outside and on the snow, um, how, how could you not enjoy a product like this? So in addition to all of that, um, you know, talking about pricing and everything, um, these guys are a super cool company, very down to earth, humbling, and um, just good dudes to talk to. And I and I asked them like, man, how can I help spread the message? Uh, I, you know, I I was very appreciative that they gave me an opportunity to uh, use the product. Uh, but I asked them how how can I help, and they said, you know, just just spread the message. Your story is exactly um, what we, we what we see a lot to the people we sell to, and um, it it's another way to open people's eyes to another opportunity of getting outside and and enjoying um, the outdoors and 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 the snow. So, in conjunction with the pricing, if you guys are interested and want to check one out, or more importantly, like they fit under the Christmas tree really well for uh, your kids and or yourself. Um, they've got a super sweet deal going on right now. If you uh, put a 5% deposit down on the website, uh, you get an additional $300 off. Uh, please do me a favor. I'm just trying to let them know how like awesome these are and how cool it is that I get to talk to you guys about it. You can use uh, promo code Barant when you check out. I don't even know if it does anything, but it like lets people know that you heard it from me and then um, hopefully I'll be able to high five you on, on, on the slopes next year. <laughs>